Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about NLP and two of the most basic things in NLP that everyone should know about. I've, I've been planning to make some basic videos for NLP and this is the first video in the NLP series, I would say. And today I'm going to talk about stemming and limitization and what is the difference between these two. Now this, this is a basic concept that may or may not be known to all of you, but um, for beginners, uh, it's always new. So let's see what stemming and limitization are. So these two terms are, a lot of people also use it interchangeably, but you should not. So one is stemming, another one is limitization. And both of these things are very easy to understand. What they do is they convert a word to its base form. So any word that you have get convert, gets converted to its base form. So let's say if you have a word like fishing, then fished or fishes. Now what is the base form of these three words? It's nothing but fish and that's what stemming is and that's what limitization is too so what is the difference between these two terms stemming and limitization so limitization will always reduce the word to its base form and so will stemming but limitization in limitization the base form will will make sense so base form will be an actual word. So it, it might be possible that when you stem a word, it gets stemmed into something that doesn't even exist in the dictionary. It is possible. Or uh, sometimes even the last letter is changed. Uh, and we will see that in some examples. But in lemmatization, that doesn't happen. Lemmatization, base form of the word will make sense. And stemming, base form of the word may or may not make sense. So that's the only difference. Another difference is, and this is like uh, uh, very important to know, there are many stemming algorithms available for uh, different languages. So stemming or limitization, both of these algorithms, uh, both of these depend on the language. So you cannot just take stemming or limitization for one language and apply it to another language. You need to find the correct stemmer, the correct limitizer for a given language. So both these stemming and limitization different for different languages. So stemming is uh, used widely and um, there are many different types of stemming algorithms. People write their own stemmers from time to time. Lemmatization, on the other hand, although it may provide you with the base word which is known to you, it's um, not very widely used. And the problem is, it is uh, it requires a lot of work so um, these things can only be designed by linguists and we are as as a data scientist we we are not so much into language so we just use what they have built and uh, you need to have a lot of knowledge of the language to build a stemmer or a limitizer and limitizer especially requires a lot of effort so you won't find a lot of limitization algorithms but you will find a lot of stemming algorithms for different languages so let's do, like let's take a look at uh, some some of the examples but before that we should also know like the different types of stemming algorithms so you have porter stemmer then you have lancaster stemmer then you have snowball so there are many different types of stemming algorithms and uh, to be honest, I don't want to go into details of them. So some are more aggressive, some are less aggressive. It's just different types of algorithms. Snowball is like uh, like kind of a language, uh, you can say that, and uh, you can write stemmers in Snowball format. So .sbl, and when people write uh, stemmers, it's available in that format, then you compile it and then you can use it. But obviously you don't want to do that much. Uh, you just want to use what has already been built until unless you are a linguist, a fan of language, then it's a, it's an entirely different story. And then um, uh, I cannot help you 
like this video won't help you but if you're looking for applications this is this is video is probably going to help you so let's now let's look at some of the examples so now i am in my collab notebook today we are using collab so uh, let's see one of the most famous packages for natural language processing is nltk and if you know how to use NLTK, I think you will be able to solve most of the problems with just NLTK. And um, uh, if you're talking about machine learning, then scikit-learn and then uh, new uh, transformer-based models, then hugging faces transformers. But NLTK is most widely used and most popular. I always use NLTK. NLTK is Natural Language Toolkit. Um, so go ahead and download or install NLTK. And NLTK offers a lot of different stemming algorithms. So what you can do is you can write from NLTK.stem. Uh, so now it should give me different stemming algorithms. So Lancaster, Porter, then you have Snowball, I think regular expression based stemmer. Um, but the most famous one is Snowball. So what we do is from nltk.stem.snowball import snowball stemmer. Okay, now we got the snowball stemmer and uh, even in nltk you don't have all the languages but you can check which languages you have by doing snowball stemmer.languages. And it shows you, okay, uh, we have these languages. So uh, I think for now it's fine. Um, uh, I don't think we are going into all of these languages. So let's stick with English for now. So you can do stemmer equal to uh, snowball stemmer and then English. So you have to write English. So it's not, not a code. Um, and then you can do stemmer dot stem uh, fishing. So the, see what we got fish. And similarly, if you do fishes, then you will get fish again. Um, one more parameter here is um, ignore stop words. So like uh, if, if, if you, I, I have not talked about stop words, but anyways, so there are stop words. I will probably talk about them in a, another video. And if you do ignore stop words equal to true and you write having, so, Okay, so this is st ignore underscore snowball. Okay, sorry, uh, you have to initialize it. Uh, okay, stemmer equal to snowball stemmer and ignore stop words equal to true. Um, okay, then it's also asking me to download stop words. So uh, and NLTK comes with a lot of different packages and they are not pre-installed because it doesn't want to eat up all the space that you have. So what you can do, uh, it will always tell you, okay, this we don't have. So uh, this is not available in your local machine. So download it. So let me download NLTK uh, stop words. So it downloaded all the stop words to this path, root NLTK corpora stop words dot zip and then it unzipped it. So now it should work. And stop words are the most frequent words in a language. Uh, people say that those words are not very important, say, so they tend to remove it, remove those words. But is it important or not? I don't know, it depends on your problem. And I write having. So now you see that since having should stem to, let me make it stemmer two. And this one is stemmer one uh and let's run this one again and we come to stemmer 2 we use stemmer 2 so stemmer 2 dot uh, stem having is stem 2 having so it's actually not stemmed but if i use stemmer 1 it should stem to have it's because uh, having does get stemmed and it gets stemmed to have and um, since we added ignore stop words equal to true, it's not going to stem that anymore. And that's stemming for you. So that's all about stemming. You don't have to care uh, m much about it. And uh, you don't have to go and uh, design your own algorithms. 
for stemming if you want you can obviously do that so stemming is not very difficult so like you can just create a rule that removes ing from the end of words and you have created your own stemmer in one way another thing is um lemmatization so from nltk dot uh, stem import word word net lemmatizer so this is one of the lemmatizers that nltk has and we will say lemmatizer equal to word net lemmatizer and that's for english so we run this we run this and uh, lemmatizer dot lemmatize and then the word so fishing let's start with there uh, okay it tells me that i have to download word net so i'll go back and i will download it here what you can also do is you can just download all and then you don't have to worry about uh nltk bugging you but that's always that's not a not the best practice i would say so lemmatizer dot lemmatize um phishing and phishing is lemmatized to phishing because it's a lemmatizer so here you see that there is a difference and lemmatizer dot lemmatize so phishing is considered as a base word lemmatize corpora like a corpora like a corpus in um, natural language processing and that gets lemmatized to corpus so you see like it makes a uh, very big change from corpora to corpus and uh, that's that's what lemmatizer is so if you if you're using uh, so why do we use uh, stemmer and lemmatizer so first of all the reason to use stemmer and lemmatizer is to reduce the amount of training data that we would need to train our models so it has been used for a long time so let's say uh, you have to um, you have to create training data or uh, you have to grab training data from different sources and you don't want a lot of training data but you want to capture all different variations of the word and that's when you use stemming and lemmatization when you use lemmatization you would still need a lot of data obviously less than before but uh, with stemming you would need a lot less and that's the a reason why we use stemming and lemmatization one more thing to remember here is uh, stemming is not always preferred and now now there are many uh, new algorithms um, which may or may not need stemming but this is not a, a tutorial for that and we would come to that when it's the right time so that's all for today's video i know it's short but um, that's what stemming and lemmatization is and this is something that you should know about so let me know how the video was if you have any comments let me know in the comment section and if you like it do like and subscribe my video uh, subscribe to my channel and see you soon bye